Traditionally, joint replacement surgery has been about getting rid of patients' pain, whereas now what we're trying to focus on is not only getting rid of their pain, but it's also improving their function. It's, it's impacted my life immensely because I, I couldn't drive and I couldn't walk much more than minutes without pain. And it is, like I say, it's only a few weeks after I've had it done, but I'm, I'm in no pain whatsoever at the moment. I do walk quite a lot, especially on holiday. It's like a big thing to us is just go for a walk and go to the next town, get a drink and just walk about. And I have done that this last couple of times when we've been on holiday, uh, but I couldn't do that before. So I'm James Hainel, I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon. I specialise in hip and knee replacement surgery. And in more recent years, I've had a real focus on joint replacement surgery with the benefits of using the robots. My name is Brian Laban. Um, I've had a total knee replacement at the Yorkshire Clinic. I've had problems with my knees for probably 10 years. Uh, I've had two keel surgery and I'm on them both. I've been taking painkillers for years, but it just got worse to the point of I've been having uh, steroid injections in both my knees lately over the last year, and I just couldn't stand pain anymore. So I went to my doctor to ask him about a total knee replacement and recommended the Yorkshire Clinic. It's, it's impacted my life immensely because I, I couldn't drive and I couldn't walk much more than minutes without pain. I lived on painkillers and I mean, I, I took painkillers at night. But since I've, this week, just to show you that example is I drove to Bristol and back in there and I got a car and walk normal, which I could never, you know, no way of doing that. Um, and it is, like I say, it's only a few weeks after I've had it done, but I'm, I'm in no pain whatsoever at the moment. I chose the Yorkshire Clinic, uh, as, a, as I've said, I, I have been here before for um, an anthroscopy, I believe they call keel surgery, and I was highly delighted with Yorkshire Clinic then, so it was a bit of a no-brainer really. Originally when I was going to get the surgery done, I, I did like most people do, I went online and started looking at what procedure entails, just to sort of see, you know, get your head around it. Um, and, it and online there's quite a lot, especially American YouTube videos showing you robotic surgery. So when I came and I saw Mr. Hernell, um, he recommended it. So again, I just said, yeah, I, I mean, he does inspire you with confidence as Mr. Mr. Hernell. So I just said, yeah, I'll do whatever you, you say is best really. So the robot assists me in surgery by um, putting some temporary pins into both the thigh bone and the shin bone. So the, the robot has a very, very accurate eye. So it can see exactly where the bones are um, and therefore can assess the, um, the position and also the gaps between the bones as well. We then use probes to actually to map the, uh, the anatomy of the patient's knee. So again, we can then accurately place uh, the implants um, into the uh, knee so that we can improve the, the gaps and positioning so that their long-term functional outcome can be improved. The day of the surgery, uh, we, I think I believe I came in at lunchtime uh, and I was programmed to go down at um, 1.30, which all, all went sweet, put you in the room, get changed. Uh, and I woke up and you, you don't think, you, you think you're still just going to surgery. I didn't realise I'd had anything done. Um, they take me up to recovery. Within, I think, hours, you, you're getting out of bed and walking. In terms of the, uh, the difference between recovery of a, a robot-assisted knee replacement and a traditional knee replacement, I think you'll find that the, uh, the short-term recovery is very, very similar. We do knee replacements traditionally really well already, but this is the intention of doing them even better. So what we're looking for really is the uh, long-term functional difference. So the ability to get back to playing sports, playing tennis, going for long walks, the feeling of stability within the knee. And that's why we're doing this. Recovery were, like I say, painful at the beginning. Now, eight week, I'm walking, no pain, it's brilliant. I have been on holiday since, and, I, and I've enjoyed my holiday more. You know, you're not, you can go for a walk now in the sun and walk on a beach, and I couldn't do that before. I stopped in the hotel and round pool because it was so painful. So as well as having the benefits of the robot assisting us making those measurements and making the cuts, we also use our experience in terms of actually putting the knee replacement in and what we would consider to be a successful 
uh, uh, position. And also by having a, the personalized positioning of the implants according to the patient's own anatomy and soft tissue tension, that will lead to a knee replacement uh, that is functionally much more stable and feels more like their own natural knee. My experience with Yorkshire Clinic, what, what really, it's, it was 10 out of 10, it was faultless. I think everybody, full team, starting from Mr. Hernal, were absolutely brilliant with me. It was a really big team effort and everybody makes you feel welcome and safe and, and they do give you confidence. I do have to have the other knee done and I, and I will definitely come back and have it done again and I will definitely ask for a, Mr. Hernal. Okay, so for, following robotic knee surgery, uh, we, you'll be working very closely with the physiotherapist to uh, get yourself back up and getting you back to your normal self. I've, I've been every week for eight weeks and if not seeing Mr. Hernal, I've been seeing a physio team. And again, they were all telling me what if, if, if it wasn't bending as good as what they expected, they were telling me why, telling me to do more of this, more of that. And everybody would have just, it was just full of confidence and, and like I say, it's worked what they've done for me. By two weeks following surgery, it would be expected that you would be walking independently at home. So you'll be starting to drop the use of your walking sticks around the house. Um, and then by six weeks following surgery, for most patients, they are free of their walking sticks and they're really starting to improve their mobility. In terms of the long-term outcome, we would expect the majority of patients to have a pain-free knee by one year following surgery. So one of the things I really love about doing joint replacement surgery is when patients come back to me to a year following their joint replacements and they tell me all the things that they've been doing and that they've got back to and, and how they just forget about having a joint replacement. And that, for me, gives me a real sense of satisfaction. The more that you do, generally the better the outcome of the knee replacement would be. Um, and I've had patients who've cycled from Land's End to John O'Groats, who go off on their golfing holidays. I've just had one of my ladies who's won uh, a, local, well, a national competition for, uh, for golf only three months following surgery. So, you know, joint replacement surgery really does get people back to doing the activities of life that they've enjoyed prior to having arthritic change. I think the procedure has changed my life, really. I know I may be repeating it, but when you've took painkillers for 10 years and now you're not taking them, it's a big thing to me, is that? And I feel a lot younger. I just feel like, you know, I can, get, I can do more in my life now. I feel like I was getting old before because I was limping. My total leg and were, 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 were giving me pain. So it has changed my life, yeah. It, what it does make you feel older. You, you can see yourself sometimes in the mirror and think, I'm limping then, I just look. And just before I had it done, I did actually get, I, bought, I got a walking stick off a friend. And everybody says, God, Brian, what's up with you? You know, like you look 10 years older. Yeah. But now I've, you know, like I say, I'm back to how I was before to me. Yeah. So it does make you feel a lot younger. Yeah, definitely.